So Excel can have uh, many ways in which you can adjust its printing style. So uh, we looked at this uh, these settings in the last lesson. And over here, we're going to look at page setup now. To access page, page setup, you can go to page layout. And from over here, you can access page setup as you can see right here. So you can choose here whether you want to print it in portrait or landscape mode right here. You can adjust into 100% and fit every data into one page if you wish to. You can choose the paper size right here. So let's say I'm going to choose A4 and you can also choose the DPI quality of your print, which is by default 600 DPI. So you can also set the margins. Uh, um, these are in inches, so th this is 0 0.75. I can set everything to one. For example, top and bottom will be one and left and right 0 0.5. So I can uh, set according to what I want. And then I can also set the header and footer right here. So I can have a custom header and I can add in something to the left section, center section and the right section if I want to. So in my case, I'm just going to type in tutor tube right here in the center section to the top. That's it. And then in the sheets, you can see that I can select the print area that I want to print. For example, uh, let me just select this print area. Let me select this out just like this. So that's the print area right there. You can also have the rows repeating. So if you want to have, let's say, two rows repeating right here, so you can actually select this row to be repeated all along. So you can see that this row will be repeated. It's actually helpful if you're actually uh, adding in titles and so forth. And if you were to add in grid lines, then if you were to go to print preview right here, you'll see that the grid lines are there. So in here, you can choose the printer and then uh, choose print. You can num choose the number of copies that you want to print. You can uh, print only the active seats or the entire worksheet if you want to, or print just the selection that you actually selected over here and obtain this right here, as you can see. Th this is the style on how the page will be printed. So if you collate, if you choose collated, then the, all the pages will be printed in order one by one. And uncollated means the first page will be printed first, then the second, and so forth, if you have multiple copies. So you can have portrait or landscape. As you can see, it changes the design right there. You can choose the paper size over here, and you can set the margins from over here as well. You can also set the scalings to uh, fit everything into one page just like this, or fit all rows into one page, and so forth. So you can control how your page looks just by here. So you can also go to custom scaling option, change to 100%. So let's say I want to uh, set everything to 45% right here. And then everything squeezes down just like that. And if you had to press space setup, then it goes back to that window just like that. So that is how you can press print and then the page will be printed. In my case, I want this full page. So I'm going to go over here and then adjust it to 100%. That's what I want. Let's press OK. And I'm going to print this out. So this is Microsoft print to PDF. As you can see, I'm going to print this out. So it prints, prints out the document. I'm going to save it into my desktop over here. So I'm going to say print just like this, then save it out. And it's printing out the paper right there. And as you can see that this is my printed base in PDF format, just like this. So this is how you can print out documents inside of Microsoft Excel using various settings. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.